Hello, this is Isaac Harrow with Coal Creek Aquatics. Today I'm going to be talking about how I breed my threadfin rainbows. You can see the male just darting across there. I also have pengu guppies in here as well that I'm also breeding. You can kind of see the male right there on the right hand side displaying. So my pH is 8.2, which seems to be fine for spawning these threadfin rainbows and the pangu guppies. I have a spawning mop up here in the left hand corner and then I have a couple natural plants in here and some fake rock and kind of a mushroom sculpture over here on the left hand side and I also have some Malaysian driftwood. I have ram's horn and bladder snails in here as well to kind of do a cleanup after the fish because I kind of I overfeed this tank to get them to spawn to make sure they're still nice and healthy and conditioned um, I run with an auto feeder up on the top side it drops food three times a day and I do a water change just about every Friday I do not vac the gravel though when I do it. Um, <clears throat> there's a small sponge filter behind the mushroom sculpture. I don't run with a hang on the back with any kind of intake sponge or anything like that. Just for the Pangu guppies uh, natural live birth. And I pull the spawning mop about every seven days and I take it back to my grow out tank. Something I've noticed with thread fins, it seems that they spawn mostly right up here on the spawning mop. They don't spawn too much down on below. So if you're gonna look for eggs, right up here in the top. And I actually rotate my mops. So every seven days, I take the old mop that has been hatching out and I put it back in. I did have two males in here but I ended up pulling one of the males because they were sparring quite a bit in this 10 gallon. So I just have a trio in my 125. I put the male and another female in there and it's kind of a community tank. So I'm gonna see if they'll breed out in a community tank or not. And that's how I breed my uh, threadfin rainbows.